Well, 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 well. Welcome one, welcome all, you lucky people. Oh, how you all doing? Welcome to the internet. It's wicked, isn't it? Uh, what we're going to do today, so I've done myself a little logo here. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to give you a few, just a few little tips on, well, basically what, <laughs> this is going to sound stupid, but how to use a ruler, or more importantly, how to maintain parallel uh, in, in something like this. So let's have a look here. Here's my little A, Guanin, here. Oh, autofocus, one just second. There it is. I've put the letters on a slight slant across here, which is making my life more difficult because that means there isn't a single right, hang right angle in the whole thing. I've also decided to put a lot of interweaving lines around each other. And you, when you're penning this in, you're gonna run in, you trust me, you're gonna run into problems if you're not careful. My art teacher used to say to me that um, that using a ruler uh, was cheating. And well, I was an obtuse student, to say the least, and I used to say to her, well, miss, you, a guy doesn't play baseball with his hands, he uses a bat, you know, and she said to me, well, uh, art isn't a competition, Alex, and I said, well, if it's not a competition, then how can I cheat, eh? So I don't think using a ruler is uh, cheating. I don't think it's cheating at all. Um, I think what you can achieve with tools, rulers, compasses, set squares, that kind of thing can just be really incredibly satisfying. So, let's come into the pencil here. You can just about see it. I'm sorry, it's, it's faded. It's been on here a while. Now, it took me a good while to decide what to do with this in total. Um, the basic font... That I did in the first place is probably quite close to what the uh, A looks like. Thought this A looks like just here, and again you can't really see it, but yeah, there it is. It's a selection of what were originally detached lines, and then I've gone back and I've joined them up in various places to create a kind of oh, circuitry effect, if you will. And then I've taken the L and you know drawn it all around here, and I've Try to make him look, give him a bit of, give him a bit of motion, I suppose. So, disciplinary measures. There are a few lines on here that are more or less running through the whole thing. So, first hint: if you can draw, if you want to draw a short line, if you can draw a longer line, do it. Okay, so in other words, rather than doing the single letter, I'm going to do this D for you here, and then doing the R next and then the A next, go across the top of all the letters with one line. And I'm going to line this up for you here. Yep. Now, when you draw in your line, Make sure you're looking ahead of your pen. Don't look at your pen, look ahead of your pen. And the reason for that is, these gaps between these letters... Jesus Christ, if I go over one of these, I'm going to insert this pen into my own eyeball, right? Because I want to get this right, and so should you. <laughs> uh, this is a bit hard, hang on. So I'm looking ahead of my pen, ahead, 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 ahead. Pow, stopping at the top. Ahead, 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 ahead. And then I'll do the S as well. You got that in the frame? Ooh. Pow. There you are, laddie. Now, this shiny, new, freshly birthed uh, virgin black line here this line is what you will be working on 
for the rest of it. The second you put this black line down, your pencil guide, it, it, it's only that. It's just a guide. Okay? And now for the rest of it, I highly recommend, highly recommend you purchase a good old fashioned set square. The grids that come on these are so freaking useful for getting these lines right. So freaking useful, I can't even tell you. So we're going to get the front of the D in here. You might find this quite you might find this quite satisfying, I hope so. So what am I going to set this against? I'm going to use the R, I think. I can see a few of the other lines just following the rest of the grid. I'm going to join these two up. Pow. And then what I tend to do is stop short at the corners. It's just it's just good form. It's just good practice because you don't want to be going right up to what you think the edge is because you might find that you're wrong. And you're wrong about that. Now, always try and make your line, your next line, parallel to the one that is closest to it because those are the biggest differences you're going to notice when you pull your eye away from this. Um, a lot of these things, they're not, some of these are still not strictly parallel, even though you might think they are because just like in any art, your, your eye does most of the work. The eye of the beholder does most of the work. Okay, so I'm just going to crack on now. I'm going to colour all these in black so I can actually get away with some margin of error. Some. Now another thing I like to do. Uh, did I bring my pen? Did I bring my pencil over here? Right, just, 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 just one minute, yeah. Something you'll definitely be able to notice is whether these corners line up. So I'm going to get get my pencil here, and I'm going to draw a nice guideline through the corners there. So we always know where to hit on there. And that's going to be really, really useful for doing stuff like this. And I'm only going to do. I'm not going to do this whole thing for you because this is a painstaking process, and it will bore you the shit out of you. So what's going to happen here when I draw this nice new line? When I lay this fucker down, is I'm now going to notice that it's not true to the original pencil line. Okay, the actual pencil line. You probably can't see. It's just below there, but that doesn't matter. Okay, it's the pen going down that matters now. What you're going to find yourself doing is actually drawing what is effectively a whole new letter here. But as long as it's parallel with itself, that's what's important. Don't worry about your pencil. Once the pen's down, all you're worrying about is the pen. So don't fret and go, oh, it's not the same as my little, you know, don't worry about it. Now, something I would encourage that you do is not to be too anal and start doing these tiny little edges with your ruler because you're going to be here all day right by now you should be able to do a fair bit of it freehand but remember I'm not going to come up to the corner winding right lines around each other like this can be really really bloody confusing I'm going to grab that set square again, keeping an eye on our guideline for the corners, and just on the top of that line, lovely, oh and we'll pop another guideline in for the other set of corners here. And again, I'm going to use the two that we've laid down in pen as, as, the, as the anchor point. There we go. <clears throat> Lovely. And I think we can. I think we can pretty much just blitz this now. See how nice the set square is. See how nice I can see my line through here, 
and I can line it up with the ones that are already on there. This is a, a hell of a tool, this wee bit of plastic. Lovely. And again, I'm, I'm going to do the back edge. I'm going to do it freehand because I'm a, just a freaking maverick. So again, I mean, I'm coming out of my, I'm coming out of my pencil lines really, really far here. But it doesn't even matter, son. It just doesn't even matter. You make sure that you're parallel to the pen that you've got down. Don't worry about your freaking pencil. Just forget about it. It's just a guide. Now that one's a bit fat, but never mind. Again, we'll let whatever bozo is looking at it fill that gap in for us in his head. And this one's going to be a bit fat and all, but never mind. Again, we're we're losing the corners a bit there. You see, you see how this just as you work in increments, those increments just end up ruining you a little bit. Cool beans. How's your framing? Lovely. See, it's completely new. This is just completely new. It's different to what was there before. But we're going to weave this round one more time and finish it off. So again, even though I've drawn this line here, I make sure that I'm, I'm I'm actually forgetting about that line now and just keeping it with the pen that's on there. So I've got a corner there. I'm going to damn well stick to it. Oh, you see? Oh, God, that's a bit close, but it's all right because I'm going to do it in black so I can get away with that. So all these discrepancies, they're not going to matter. Well, actually, that one might. But it's all right, you see, because you see you see on the A here, I've done these sort of extra cyber lines around it, these sort of circuit, extra circuitry lines. So I'm just going to, I'll turn these into some of them and we can hide them away. It's important, I think, that I make mistakes with you. They're all just happy little accidents. We don't make mistakes here. We make happy little accidents. Cool. The end of him there. The end of him. I knew that I knew I'd fuck this one up for you. Lord. Cool. That was not bad. An eighty bag. We can get away with a bit of error on here. But this this line of corners has actually gone pretty well. So when you're doing this kind of stuff, make sure that you let your pen dry before you put your order back down. Just do that. Because you're gonna kick yourself. Oh, and he's done, fool. Lovely. So you can see, well, I don't know if you can actually. <laughs> and it's so exposed, this camera. But it's actually gone outside of the original pencil by quite a long way. But that don't matter. It just does not matter. So, hopefully that was some help to you. Okay, so we're going to have a little ASMR section now. A little five minutes. And I'm going to colour him in for you. And you can just watch me scritchy, scratchy, scratch, scratch, scratch away.
But there are there are some hints actually I can give you here as well when you're filling in this sort of thing. Do your edges first. So just take your pen, thick in the edges a bit. And then I'm gonna go in a lateral motion. Up and down, up and down, up and down. This poor old pen. I'm not built for this, Al. I'm just not built for it. And then we can just go over this, just disappear that little error there. Helpful. I tend to move to a circular motion around the corners. And then again, as I've told you before, always use your wrist as a pivot. And we're filling in here, so it's not fantastically important. But Funny, I should be doing a D. Shuffle on my phone was forever trying to shove Tenacious D at me today. It's not that I don't like Tenacious D. In fact, they're one of the foundations of my uh, music taste. But oh god, I didn't half milk them to death when I when I went lad. Took their first album in on non-uniform day. Tried to shock my music teacher, who had the. Uh, the experience to uh, actually not react at all. He was so unimpressed by it. It was hilarious. I was a little bit disappointed. I wanted a bit of outrage. Like, <laughs> Look, he says tits. Jack Black's a hell of a singer, though. Carl Gass, Jesus Christ, he can play that acoustic guitar. I don't know whether any of you have tried to solo on an acoustic guitar, but shit me, it ain't easy. Can't you see he's the man? Let me hear you applaud. He's more than a man. He's a shiny golden god. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then get the fuck. God damn it. Stupid camera. This is going to be nice when it's done. I've been dying to finish it, but I've wanted to show you it, it, it halfway through, you know. I wanted to show you it in the production stages. I think a lot of people cheat in that way. Painstaking thing. Maybe I should use a a bigger pen, maybe, or maybe a brush and some ink. But I'm a stubborn and a lazy man. Any of you guys out there find it quite? Disconcerting to refer yourself to refer to yourself as a man. Not on it, not in any sort of gender way, but I'm just a dude, really. I'm just a guy, you know. Like man comes with so many, so many implications, so many responsibilities. A 
a bloke. That's more friendly, that's a bit more friendly, isn't it? <laughs> Are you bored yet? Oh, he's a big chunky motherfucker, this one. I really like, we'll get a super zoom on, I really like this bit here. Oh, just cover that up. Cover that up. Put yourself away. The thing is, when I scan this, if I scan it, then I can just enhance the colours a bit. I'm sure a lot of you are thinking that this sort of straight line work, it should be reserved for computers. I mean, you know, do it on the computer. Well, no. It's, 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 a, it's a disciplinary activity, trying to obtain this sort of precision. You know, it can ground you a little bit, and then when you go back and when you move, when you go back to doing, to just letting yourself loose, it feels good. Sorry. I know you want to see the pen action. Oh, I've uh, pressed a little bit hard there. Took a bit of the paper up there. Careful. Careful, son. You mind what you're doing. A little bit of debris on the end there. Miscellaneous debris. I should have gone from the outside, really, because then uh, it would have gone gone in quicker as we'd finished. But you know, that showbiz. Don't work with animals or children, and I'm definitely both. See, that's looking pretty looking pretty cool now. I like to see it come together. I'm also quite happy that I've uh, that I've filled you guys in on this because I can just go mad now and finish this whole thing and then I can have a nice new nice new logo. I'm going a bit faster now. Longer lines. Tend to keep your pen fairly upright for this. Oh! Before I forget, you can now order prints of any of my stuff. Um, I'm gonna get and I'll get them done in whatever size you want, um, A5 to A1. 
to do with what he will, you know, I don't know, do what you want with it, burn it ritualistically if that's what you want to do, um, in the uh, description and the first comment I'll give you a link to my website where you can not only check out a gallery of or high DPI scans of all my previous stuff, but you can also, well I'm, I've started a blog on there, um, so you can have a little read of that. Do like to write, and you can order prints. And uh, I'm, I've done an Instagram as well, but that, that's um, that's the early days at the minute. So yeah, check it out. I'm quite proud of the website. Uh, did it on WordPress. It's pretty crisp, pretty nice. And it's proper grassroots stuff. I'm not. In, I'm not. Um, you know, going through a third-party company. I'm going to go down and get these things printed myself. Post them out to you with my bare hands, grassroots style. And uh, there's also a little commissions uh, section on there. Uh, I've left an email. If there's anything you want me to do for you, you know, within reason. Um, but you can also just leave me a comment on here, or or you can uh, just send me a message. Here we are, last leg. Final round. That turned my stomach a little bit there, plugging my own stuff. Look, you got to flaunt what you got at the end of the day. It's taken me nearly 30 years to do it. So yeah, check it out. Even if you just want to have a browse. Owlshouse.co.uk Oh god, this is, it's like approaching a climax. And there we go. I might even take my rubber out. Eh? You know what I'm saying? Oh, in, the, in the scrutiny of that light you can really see how thin that pen is. Pal. Absolutely. And you can see how that just might be a little treat. His and her pleasure. Right. Take care of each other, you little scamps. If you're feeling defeat, reach for the meat. <laughs>